What's going on you bloody legends? Welcome back. Today we're heading out on a mission. A mission to get the biggest possible fish that I can. So I'm up at the crack of dawn. As you can see, we're only just starting to see that first, first light of the day. Over behind me over here, you got the cityscape, just looking mint. The plan is I'm out here on the jet ski. I'm gonna troll some lures in the hopes on the first light in the hopes to get a any kind of mackerel or pelagic or uh, ideally I want a Spanish mackerel. I've never ever caught one before. They're a beautiful, amazing eating fish. Um, <laughs> I'm actually not too sure if you guys can even see me. Anyway, I'm just gonna roll with it. What I've got is the heaviest gear that I own, which is, is really not that heavy. I've got a 4,000 reel and I've got an eight to 10 kilo snapper rod. Running about 45 pound braid got about six meters of 60 pound mono on it uh and then a wire 80 80 pound trace anyway that's enough talking let's rip in you okay like i said i've never ever caught a spanish mackerel before but apparently they're on the chew at this first light so it's a really nice morning this morning when the weather's good the fishing's good when it comes to pelagics so uh here we are Hopefully it's worth the, worth the effort. We've got up at 4 a.m. this morning for this exact moment. So we chuck this little fella out, trawl him at about 10 k's an hour, which is about five five to six knots. And, lo and we're gonna set it back about 60 meters behind me. And hopefully something snaps it up. All right, we'll go maybe something like that. Chuck him in the rod holder. And then I'm just gonna watch this, chuck it on about 10 k's an hour, is about five to six knots. That's perfect trolling speed. And keep a very close eye on this rod. Have a go at the sunrise. Looking good. Where's the Spanish Max at, baby? All right, so while we're plotting along, I'm looking along on the horizon anywhere for any kind of bust ups or activity, bird diving, anything like that. And I'm gonna head it towards that direction. So that's my game plan. Stick to where all the boats are, look for any bust ups and just be ready. Cause when we are on, it is on. Came out here a few weeks ago to try and do the exact same thing. Trolling for some Spanish mackerel. I uh, ended up hooking a, a Mac tuna, which is a, a first for me as well. A dude also ran over my lure and took my entire spool and only lure. Oh, well that sucks. But yeah, I'll roll that clip, me getting that Mac tuna while we wait for a bit of action on this side. Enjoy. All right, we are on. Yeah. Yes. Don't know what it is. It doesn't feel extremely big. It's not really giving me too much stick. Oh, I see color. Oh, look at him go. Yes. Oh, it's a, oh, it's a Mac tuna. Yeah. Have a bloody go at this thing. Not too bad. It's the first time I've ever caught one, so pretty stoked about that. Oh, there it is. Look at the sun just peeking through the clouds there. How yeah, bloody good! Yahoo! All right, view of the lure that I've been using in the light now that you guys can see. Uh, made to look like a little mackerel or slimy. All right, gonna swap it out for this bad boy, the old Halco Laser Pro 190. Let's go. Righto. 
toe, so I'm going to let it out about 50 metres, lock it off and repeat that process. Something like that, I reckon. Chuck him in there. Get up to speed. Drop it. They're just coming straight towards me. Just as I stopped then, I was literally just starting to feel sick. I slowed down for a sec. Oh no, we are on! <laughs> oh yes! Guys, we've got a Spanish mackerel. We have got, oh no, it's a baby wahoo. Oh yes, can you guys see that thing? Goodness. Yes! Yes! Woohoo! You bloody ripper! Oh my goodness! We did it! We did it! <laughs> yes! Oh, he's awesome! Look at the colours on him! Are you kidding me? Oh. All right, he absolutely smoked that lure. Have a go at this thing. <laughs> oh, my first wahoo. I could be wrong, could be a Spanish Mac, but I'm pretty sure it's a wahoo. Have a go with the big chompers on him. <laughs> what a beautiful fish. Are you kidding me? Yes! Oh, we did it! We did it! That's the first, first proper fish I've caught out here on the ski. Finally got the setup to go out deep and it has paid off. Our hard work has paid off. Yes! You little ripper! Alright, so let's measure him. Got my little measure in the well here. All right, that's a metre fish. That's a metre long wahoo. He smoked that lure just as I came to a stop. Oh, that is just so good. I am stoked. Yeah. All right. So he's pretty big. I don't know if he's going to fit in my esky. I'm going to uh, chop him in half. Get him on ice, bleed him, and uh, keep on keeping on. Not feeling sick anymore. <laughs> oh, it's such a shame to chop him in half. There we go. Beautiful fresh fish. After that excitement, how can I stop? I'm addicted. 
<laughs> that was so sick. Spearwood, he didn't put much uh, up, too much of a fight. He hit it hard, and then I tightened the drag, ripped the hooks, and then I'm pretty sure he just swam pretty well straight towards me. I guess that's the direction he would have been heading anyway when he was hit hit that lure. But he came came without any kind of any kind of attitude or anything. So there you go. Caught a meter meter long Spanish mackerel or wahoo. Still don't not 100 percent sure. They look so similar on a 4,000 reel and a snapper bait rod. So you don't need the best gear to get out there and get the job done. I'm gonna get back inshore and um, catch some liveies and see if we can do a little bit more fishing on the rock wall there. I'm not done yet. I'd love to catch a couple little more fish. It'd be a bit of fun. Either way, mission accomplished anyway. I'm gonna head inshore and try my luck with some liveies. big pod you don't normally see them doing big aerials like we just saw unless they're in a very playful mood so oh look here's one right here i oh know it's a stingray an eagle ray that's sick yeah cool from an eagle ray to an eagle's nest have a go on that thing Pretty awesome, seeing a couple of cool wild animals out here in the broadwater. Now I'm gonna head off to find a spot to try and catch some live bait and uh, go for round two, baby. <laughs> what a day. Oh, beautiful. How good is that? Just at the north wall here of the seaway. The current is ripping in on the incoming tide. I know there's a big hole exactly underneath my jet ski right now, about 20 meters. So I'm gonna grab the biggest, probably the biggest herring I got, drop it straight down. See if anything wants to snap it up. Goodness, I just lost every single one of my liveys. Out. That sucks. Oh, on that note, I think I might call it a day. up this little spot my normal filleting station the taps busted uh the scales all over it it was so filthy so i've come down to the broad water to find my own little spot and this pipe is gonna work a treat so uh met an old man down at the boat ramp sorry oh, wahoo. Wahoo. <laughs> he says that this is a wahoo so we can put that to bed um First, first wahoo I've ever caught. Honestly, like wahoo is like 
uh, a prize, like bucket list, dream fish of mine to catch. It's, they're so cool. They're so beautiful. Absolute fierce predators. They grow much, much, much bigger than this. Uh, this guy was on the meter mark, uh, but yeah, one of the fastest growing fish in the ocean as well. Super cool. I am just so stoked to have actually been able to catch one of these things. So let's get some fillets off. I am absolutely winging it right now, but there's not too much to it. You know, most fish are all the same, really. Get the meat off. Ah, oh, but go at that. That is one quarter of a fish. <laughs> that is a beautiful slab. Not one for sashimi, but I am very interested to know what this tastes like. So. Mm, not too bad. Actually pretty good. Oh, got another little bit of that sashimi actually. Not much. It's actually pretty good. Thought my pelican friends would be here by now. Have a go with that for a slab. <laughs> that is a lot of fish. There we go. Beautifully dissected wahoo. Couple of fresh slabs. Have a go with that meat. Oh, that is just amazing. I'm so hungry too. Haven't eaten yet. I was really hoping for a pelican or two to rock up and I could uh, hand feed them with the carcass, but looks like it's just going in the drink. Thanks, mate. Get these fat slabs back on ice before they get too warm. And that's it. How good. You. That's about, that's a few kilos worth of meat there. That's a lot. Loves a bit of fresh fish. <laughs> okay, after I've de-skinned it, I'm gonna cut it into a little serving size. I'm gonna use the water the vacuum seal it. Put some eggs, we're gonna breadcrumb these bad boys, we're gonna cut them into little cubes and uh, make some fish tacos. That's the plan. Got the boys over. Hey Cal. Uh, yeah. Right oh, we're gonna bust out one of these limes. That looks perfect. Yo. I'm gonna try a little bit now. I've never tried Wahoo before. Get a bit of secret sauce on there. Mmm. Oh, that is actually so good. It just like falls apart in your mouth. All right, it is time. Bit of rice, bit of cheese. If this is smell of vision, oh, you guys would be on. Okay, here we go. Bit of fish, bit of this. What's this called again, Callum? Uh, pica de gao, pica de gaia. I'm not even that. I'm just gonna call it salsa. Salsa. Yeah, pretty much tomato, onion, and lime juice. A little bit of slaw. We're gonna get some uh, secret sauce in there. Oh, good. Let's see what the the fuss is about. Mmm. <laughs> Dude. 
dear lord. They're probably all over my face. <laughs> it's so good. It's really, really good. Uh, I've made an absolute mess of myself there, but if you enjoyed this video, guys, please hit like or subscribe. If you want to support me, you can buy some stickers. Um, hats are coming. I'd really, really appreciate it. Thanks for everything you guys do for me. I love doing this. I want to keep bringing you guys more content. So, yeah, that's it. Have a good one. Peace. You got your saying, wahoo! Wahoo!